Hello everyone. This is Teemu from guitaristnextdoor.com. And this is a special video because for the first time I'm reviewing something that I got for free. Donner approached me and asked me if I would like to review some of their stuff and after some thinking I decided to say yes. And this is Donner DST 152. Kind of a Stratocaster modern Stratocaster look with HSS pickup configuration. I'm not getting paid for making this video, but I just got this guitar for free. And the packaging, really great stuff. This seems to be waterproof, bulletproof, whatever else proof. It's, and even though that the, some postal guys tried to stab this package a little bit, it's in great shape. One reason being that it was inside of a kickback that comes with this. Actually, if there haven't been a kickback, this kind of a stabbing attempt by postal guys, it might have done actually some real damage. And you can see that with this comes all kind of different cool stuff. Free amp, mini guitar amp by Donner. I'm going to play this guitar through this amp soon for you in this video. And then strap, there's a tuner, there's a capo, there's uh, extra strings, picks, and guitar cable, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to test these out and compare these to different similar products and see if this, these are really good, but that's going to be in a later video. And this guitar itself, I think that it looks really nice. And if this free stuff that you get with this guitar is good, I think that this is really nice. Kind of a guitar pack. I mean, that is, this can get some better started without need of buying anything else. But of course, we have to first see how this guitar plays, how it sounds, and if this, if this free stuff is any good. And this Donner's guitar came with this kind of a little mini guitar amp. So let's unbox this thing. USB cable, aux cable, and then the little amp. Tiny, I think, kind of a little bit smaller than the Blackstar Fly 3. Really plasticky feel. Aux in for headphones for charging. And this is great thing, you can charge this via USB cable. Great feature. And here you can change between the clean and distorted channel. So, really basic stuff. I wouldn't drop this. Not very durable feel. Kind of what you would expect that would come with this kind of a Petsinger guitar. And please, if you have any power left in you, hit the thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Let's first try how this plays out of the box. I have not tuned it or done any setup. So let's check if it's on tune. <laughs> Not in tune, but this can happen with any guitar. And then let's check all the pickups. And in the volume. Yeah, it works, but when you turn it all the way down and you start to increase it, it only starts to pick up and increase the volume at the 5. Now it's 5, 6, 6. Yep. And then the, about the fret pass, otherwise all good, really low action, but the low E string open string, it's some bus, first fret, some bus, second fret, third, not really any, anymore. So it's the open E string, low E string, first fret, and then the second fret from the low E string, some bus. So I will now tune the guitar and then I will 
do some minor setup. Yep, so now this is in tune. So out of the box this was really out of tune. One or two steps every string. But of course tuning is not hard and you have to do it anyways. So not a big deal. And I used this Donner tuner that came with it out of the box. Seems to be pretty accurate, pretty cool. And now let's check how this sounds. couple quick first impressions. The guitar itself, after setup and after tuning it, I think it's pretty nice. Sounds good. It's 
equally good that most of the guitars in under $200 price range. And it plays great, it was actually fun to play, feels good to play, action was really low, I like it. And this amp surprised me, doesn't feel like a high quality amp, not at all. And when you turn this on and off, you can hear that kind of a feedback. And with the clean channel, you can't shape your tone at all, it's only the volume for it. Yeah. That's a small bummer, but with the distorted channel, you can add just the distorted channel's volume, of course, and also the amount of gain, and then the tone. So increase the mids, highs, and then decrease those. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I think that this is pretty nice, sounds solid, and we'll get a bit in there started. And soon I'm going to upload a sound demo, and I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to test this guitar with a couple different amps. And also I'm going to make a video where I put this and Orang Cross Mini head to head. I believe that this is going to win. And then the full review of the guitar is also coming out soon. So stay tuned for those. And now I want to thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon.